It is already known that the third season of The Bad Batch will be the final one. However, the creative team of the animation project is already preparing a sequel. Dave Filoni personally announced the new series so we can safely discuss it. Why did I call the video the eighth season of The Clone Wars? Because Lucasfilm is going to go back to the roots after the end of The Bad Batch and shoot a direct sequel to the series but with other characters. And you know, Rex, Gregor and Wolf can become these very heroes. There are many signs pointing specifically to them as well as the fact that they will be supported by Asajj Ventress herself. We know that at some point there will be a return during which Rex, Gregor and Wolf will reunite and remain the last surviving clones who decide to go to a well-deserved retirement and in the seventh episode of The Bad Batch we were shown all three of them in one place and at one time. It would take a long time before Wolf leaves the ranks of the Empire and for sure this plot will not fit into the timing of the Bad Batch. Therefore, his story is just the beginning. It is noticeable that Lucasfilm want to continue to shoot animation projects in the era of the dark times, but at the same time they realized that they had told the whole story about Squad 99 and Omega and now that their story is approaching to a conclusion, it's time to move on in the same setting but with other more famous heroes. Rex, Gregor and Wolf are the best characters to play the main characters in the new animated series. Before retiring, they will certainly want to save as many brothers in trouble as possible whether they are captured clones in the laboratories of Tantis or those like Cody who went to AWOL. Their story is not over yet. A lot of interesting things have to happen before they decide to burn out the rest of their days on an old rusty walker. And although the Bad Batch has become like a piece for us, we all understand that they have never been the center of attention of the audience yielding to the same Rex or Cody. In addition, their whole story constantly revolves around Omega alone, which drives the characters into certain limits. The same storyline with the cloning of Emperor Palpatine is already pretty fed up. To be honest, they have been hinting and hinting at it for three seasons already without showing anything and everyone has realized that the Emperor was going to be cloned and thus Snoke will be created a long time ago. The Bad Batch has exhausted itself. It has told everything it could tell and I want the events of the new animation project to be more ambitious and pay equal attention to several different characters at once. Rex, Gregor and Wolf can search for their brothers for a long time and try to uncover the secrets of the Empire and maybe one day they will even meet Darth Vader himself with whom Rex went through the entire Clone War. That is why the new project can become a kind of eighth season. There are many interesting events in different parts of the galaxy in one series. Also, more than a year ago, there were rumors that Lucasfilm was developing a series dedicated to Boba Fett and Omega who are connected by the fact that they are the very first clones of Jango Fett. It is quite possible that these two will lead one of the story arcs in the sequel. But the most interesting thing is that some time ago, the actress who voiced Asajj Ventress, Nika Futterman, told at the Planet Comic Con that the appearance of her character in the third season of The Bad Batch will be the beginning of a new stage in her life. Thus, she only confirmed that Ventress is waiting for a full-fledged return. I'm sure that Count Dooku's former Padawan will also become part of the new animation project and I hope that Quinlan Voss, who survived Order 66, will return with her. Well, as a cherry on the top, we can see the story arc of a young Dean Jaren on the way to becoming a real Mandalorian because the past of this character is shrouded in mystery and he, after all, is the main character of the flagship series. Therefore, all the heroes mentioned today are waiting to be united in a completely new series and in the third season of The Bad Batch, it seems like we have been shown teasers of such a large-scale event. In fact, I believe that Dave Filoni and his creative team originally wanted to shoot a larger-scale series about the Dark Times in order to better reveal the Dark Era between the third and fourth episodes of Star Wars with the help of famous characters. However, Lucasfilm insisted on choosing the plot holes of the sequels and giving the disastrous return of Palpatine at least some sense and at the same time introduced the audience to Omega, who certainly has a great future in Star Wars. And only now, Filoni can create what he always wanted to create. As for the Squad 99 itself, 
are more than sure of a bad ending for them. Lucasfilm themselves said that the third season would be a big shock for us. In addition, none of the members of Squad 99 has ever appeared in further events, which means that they will face a tragic death. This is why the season is advertised as the final one. I think the authors realized that an animated series can cover a lot more events and reveal more characters, and therefore, after the Bad Batch, we are waiting for the announcement of this very project. Either that's what it's going to be called, Clone Wars Season 8, or Dark Times, well, or something new. Here you are, write in the comments what you think the new animation will be about, and whether you agree with what I said. I will be glad to hear your theories. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you're interested in it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.